Hello everyone, uh, this is size 14 hook and this is a gossamer silk. Um, this is a variation of a snipe and purple. So if you just start below the eye, couple of turn, and just take this piece off. And the same time I'm going to add this is a holographic tinsel. It's a little bit different way of tying, but very simple. So if you take one piece off, and catch it same time just about below the hook and then couple of turn and move towards move this tinsel towards the eye and then use touching turn all the way keep going and just finish with the parallel of the point and now what you have to do is bring this tinsel I mean they take your time again just want to give a little holographic effect you can tie obviously a nacho but this is a little bit different and also it does work keep going and then catch it here one turn and then open up the gap and just create a segment or ribs that's fine take away this piece very close and then you need a snipe feather if you can't find one just use good or sometime you can get these feather from underneath the duck wings so once you cut this couple of turn oh, now see you have to be very careful here and take your time because these are very delicate feather uh, so take your time just do a couple of turn here and then lift that up Chop this very close and secure this properly. Okay, and because this feather is small, so I'm going to use a hako plier and just stroke them backward. Don't put too much tension here. We can work with these after I finish with this. And then a couple of turns secure it. I mean this is a very sparse pattern but very very good for a river grayling and brown trout. And all you have to do is just finish it off by one, two, three that's enough nice entirely up to you to use varnish on the head but if you use a wax then it's not it's okay now I'm just gonna kind of spread these out the wings the hackle sorry so there you have it uh, another variation of snipe and purple great pattern for river and uh, i hope you enjoyed this one thanks for watching